My name is Dr. Gerald Chodak. In this video, I want to report to you the results of an update of a study that was done to ask whether or not radiation therapy given after men have radical prostatectomy will prevent the development of metastatic disease. This study has been going on for over 15 years, and the results were initially reported in 2006. And at that time, there was not a significant reduction in the development of metastatic disease. Well, with the additional time that's gone by, additional analysis has occurred, and now the results have turned positive, meaning that there was a statistically significant reduction in the development of metastatic disease by about 15 years. Now, what were the results? The results were that 7% of the men who got radiation were less likely to end up with metastatic disease compared to the men that did not get immediate radiation. Who were the men entered in this study? These men were high risk for failure. They were men that had cancer at the margin or outside the capsule or into the seminal vesicles. And those men were randomized. They got radiation right away or they didn't get it right away. They may have gotten it sometime down the road or they got hormone therapy or they didn't get either of those. And the analysis showed that this difference that occurred took about 15 years. Now, what does that mean? Well, it means that we have to treat 13 men with radiation after surgery in order to have one less likely to develop metastatic disease. And a lot of people would say, well, that's not a very good result. It means that 12 men are getting radiation that won't benefit them. And then, of course, you have to ask, what are the trade-offs? What are the side effects? Indeed, about 12% more men had significant complications, including proctitis, urethral strictures, or urinary incontinence. So there was a trade-off for this benefit. And in the end, each patient is going to have to weigh this trade-off to see if it's worth it. Now, so far, the results have not shown a significant difference in survival although there was a 10% lower incidence of deaths in the men that got immediate radiation. It just wasn't statistically significant, meaning we can't make a conclusion yet whether it does improve overall survival. But it did also result in less likely to develop a failure of your PSA or a rise in your PSA and the need for other therapies. So there are some clinical benefits, there's no question about that, the problem is it comes at a trade-off, and the benefit doesn't occur into many, many years down the road, almost 15 years. So something that may have to be factored in is your age, your health, and how you're recovering from the surgery. The bottom line, though, is there is this significant improvement, and each man is going to have to weigh the pros and cons. I mention it to you because many doctors, many surgeons may not be familiar with the updated results. And so they may not be aware that there was this statistically significant reduction in metastatic disease. At the very least, each man that faced with that, that finding at surgery, that higher risk for recurrence, should have a conversation with their doctor about these study findings, about the pros and cons, so that they can weigh the decision whether or not they want to proceed with immediate radiation. Now, what would have been nice, or what may still occur, is to ask, why don't we wait and not give everyone immediate radiation? We set some requirement, like their PSA has to get to a number, say 0.5, where we believe it's recurring. And at that point, we say, Let's give those men immediate radiation or not and see what happens. The goal might be to say, look, rather than have to treat 13 men in order to prevent one from getting metastatic disease, by leaving out the men less likely to need it, we make the things more favorable, the results more favorable. We say, okay, maybe we only have to treat five, six, or seven men in order to prevent one from having metastatic disease. And that would be a more favorable trade-off. Of course, that's going to have to wait for further analysis and further studies to be undertaken. But it is something to discuss with your doctor. We can't say for sure that delaying the radiation will indeed give you this reduction in metastatic disease. But it is a consideration given what turns out to be the small difference 
in the development of metastases in the men that got radiation therapy. So I expect that further analysis will continue. It may turn out in a few more years we'll see a difference in the survival rates as well. But the trade-off is the side effects and each man is going to have to weigh the pros and cons himself. Thank you.